My question today is, in what direction are we as a society going to go after Apple gives us the new Vision Pro? This is the next best thing. Apple has introduced something that is going to be so freaking amazing, that is going to be so revolutionary, that is going to change the way we compute as this is a spatial computer. As we enjoy movies, as we watch sports events, as we work. But I think this is kind of where it stops because from here, I kind of feel it's getting creepy. Now, my biggest problem with the Vision Pro is honestly FaceTime and the 3D camera. Don't get me wrong, they're both great. I use FaceTime almost every day. And it's, it's a, a fantastic service by itself. But I think this is the last version of virtualization I would like to see in my life. I don't wanna go more in. Let me tell you how it works. So you buy Apple's Vision Pro. You scan in your face. That's how the Vision Pro creates your eyes that are actually on the front of the device. Once you have scanned your face in, it creates a digital persona. And that digital persona is going to represent you when you're doing a FaceTime call. Because if you're doing a FaceTime call with this device on your face, obviously you're not in front of the camera. You cannot be shown like you see me right now. Because the camera is right here, about two feet away from me. So it's not possible to show you because you have something on your face. So it needs to create a digital persona. And with that digital persona comes the uncanny valley. And this is the last bastion of sanity in this virtualization process that we're going through. Everything is virtual now. You go virtual shopping, then you talk with your friends on FaceTime, then you live your best memories on iMessage, and there's, you know, it's not a problem, but it's separating us more than ever. The fact that we have VR headsets right now where they are, they're used for gaming and this and that, and I've played a lot of VR headsets with my friends, it's always the same. Someone has the VR headset on and I'm sitting on the couch looking at them and they don't even know where I am. Now, the Vision Pro has changed a little bit because you can actually see your surroundings and it's not just focused on games, but the fact that when you are on a FaceTime call, they will not be seeing you. They will be seeing your digital persona that is creepy AF. That is, that is, that is, I, I don't want this reality. I don't want more separation from, from us. I mean, it's, it's bad enough that our, all of our communications are happening via a screen. And now we're going to be looking at someone on the screen who's not them. It's, 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 it's a freaking robot or digital persona, whatever is that. It's not the person I'm looking at. It's something else. And it's creepy that this is going to lead us into so much isolation with these VR headsets. You can watch a movie alone. You can watch a sporting event alone. I mean, this is only the first version. So I, I'm being a bit too harsh on Apple on this, but it scares me deep down here. It scares me super much. And I'm afraid. And I don't want to communicate with others wearing these masks and me talking to a, a digital version of them. The whole metaverse is is trash, in my opinion, and I never want to take a part of it. Maybe I'm too old school for this. Maybe I'm not uh, as young as I think I am, but it's, it's, it's scary. And the other thing is, having this digital persona represent you and, and you lose all contact with other people. Yeah, they were demoing it like you were a digital persona, but the other person was seeing real people. In the future, if everyone has glasses like this, we're going to be talking to robots. And it, I cannot stress this enough, it's, it scares me down to the bottom of my heart. But, I mean, there is an upside. People you don't like, you don't have to look at them ever again. How great is that? The other thing that I just mentioned very briefly, this is a device, as I said, that will not allow you to watch a movie with someone. You go to a sporting event because of the vibes, to meet with people, to share experiences together. Now, as cool as may it sound, you have access to everything on your couch. You can see five TVs, you can see the basketball court on your coffee table, but you will be doing this alone. Is it worth it? Is it worth it totally? I mean, sometimes it's good to just chill and be alone, but these things are not going to create meaningful memories. You're living from day to day, enjoying stuff, but you're not living. You're not out and about and doing, and it scares me 
super much. Technology is great and this device will benefit a lot of people for a lot of reasons. Productivity. Oh my God, how useful this is going to be. You can have 10 monitors right in front of you. All of your Excel sheets. You can see the end of your Excel sheet finally. It's going to start here and finish at the end of the room. Yay, accountants, rejoice. The fact of the matter is, all of this is going to lead to isolation. All of this is going to lead to digitalization of people, of minds, of everything. And it's very, very scary. And the second terrifying thing is how I see it already started to go one step further than this, which is the 3D photos. Now, all of the people who've used it and said, wow, it's really cool. I can do 3D photos. I can do 3D photos. Who cares? Who cares about the 3D photos? If you are not in the moment, you're not living through that memory. You're creating a memory to see later that you weren't even present in. What do I mean by this? Well, the thing is that they demoed that there were these little girls, they were blowing out a birthday cake. In order to do a 3D photo, you need to have the device on and then you can touch a button and it takes a 3D photo, a 3D video. Great, meaning all of your family is right there celebrating the birthday of your child, blowing out the candles, and daddy's over there with a big goggles looking at them creepily like, oh, look here, look, look. This is scary. It's super scary. It terrifies me to the moon and back that, that, that people will start, it's, it's really Black Mirror vibes. People will start to put this on and they're going to record things in 3D and, 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 and it's, it's not personal anymore. You're not there. You're not there in that memory. You're recording a memory, not your memory. You're not seeing it with your eyes. You're not living through the moment. I am super mad at these kind of things that we are losing our touch with reality. You go somewhere, you do something, you go to a fucking concert. All you see is the fucking phones taking videos that people are never going to rewatch anyway. And you're not there living the moment. You're doing a video for something that you were not really present at because you were worried about, oh, I need to take this video to post it on Instagram or whatever. For, for who? For what? For why? Why don't you live? Life is short. It's important to create memories. It's important to document those memories because you would love to look those back. But there's a time and a place. And I don't think that the right message is be on your daughter's birthday with a fucking 3D camera on your face, not seeing them, just so you can record them blow out the candles. It's, it's weird. And maybe I'm the guy who's, who's weird about this, or I'm the strange person who cannot cope with the things changing, but I truly think this is fucked up. And I would really like to know what you guys think about this, because this is my point of view. This is how, you know, I live my life. I, 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 I don't live for sharing my whole life on social media. I do a lot of pictures. I do a lot of videos. But when I'm in a precious moment, I put away everything technology around me to enjoy the moment and to actually be there. And these two things super much creep me out in this device. As superb it is on what else it can do with productivity, entertainment, it's going to be great. And I truly hope we're not going to be isolated. And I truly hope version two comes out with like, oh, share play. So if two people have this in the same household, then you sit down, you can see each other's environment or watch a movie together. But then you're in the device and you're with your partner and you look at her and you see her digital persona. Creepy.